so I thought I'd just make a quick video I um just it's my childhood Super Mario 64 I bought this on launch when I um, pre-ordered my Nintendo 64 back when I was 17 I'm now 75 anyway I it's got the 120 game save on it so I just used my um, Sony cart reader and dumped my save game took it over to my PC here And then I just use the uh, FileZilla and just um, FTP'd into my um, Mister. <laughs> and uh, so if we go down here to saves, uh, Nintendo 64, so there it is there. It didn't come down from the Sony cart reader like that. I, I just I changed it to say that. First of all, I made a save game on the uh, Super Mario 64 core game through the Nintendo 64 core, and then I just copy and pasted the name of that save over the um, save game that I dumped from the Sony cart reader, and then transferred it back over to the Nintendo 64. I'm in my laboratory here. And what's this? There's my mister. And this is uh, Super Mario 64. We'll just reset the core. It's me, Mario. And there's my 120 save games from back when I was 17. I'm now 45 and I'm playing an FPGA version of uh, my Nintendo 64 through my mister and guess what I'm using the uh, switch wireless or switch online Nintendo 64 controller it's absolutely oh, here we go unscripted live any nothing I do is scripted on YouTube anyway it's all freestyle um, yeah it's just gone off, so I'll just get it going again. Boom, she's paired. Okay. It's like the real thing. And the build quality of these things is like next level. It's got a rumble pack built in. Heaps of buttons for the um, to access the on-screen display for the Mister. And the, like I said, the build quality is awesome. From memory, I would say from memory that the center stick may be a little bit stiffer, which isn't a bad thing. But every, I mean, it's brand new, so who knows who's to say? But it is flawless. Cannot fault it. I certainly wouldn't bother with a snack. So I'm just super, super happy with how it's performing. You can just pair it just like you would. Um, just in the main, as soon as you boot the mister, go and um, configure joystick. In near the scripts menu there. So you just go and configure your joystick. Just go through the motions of configuring. 
and then uh, just go to the core and then just um, set it up within the Nintendo 64 core and then boom it just works straight out of the gate after that perfectly and so my settings like so so once you've ported that save game over if you want to dump your own save games from your Nintendo 64 um, so you just go to on-screen display boom this is how I've got mine sort of set up so my um everything's on auto save so that's on and then yeah so every time you go to on-screen display it just automatically saves of course Yeah, it's really great. I cannot cannot fault this. The Nintendo 64 core for the Mister is next level. Uh, I also use uh, <clears throat> the Super Nintendo version, which is next level. Like I can't can't fault it. It's unbelievable. It just feels great. Like, it's great. And then we're over here. We've got yeah the two um, NES. Control pads for the switch also, so they pair up beautifully. Just a great pad. Um, you just get a little dock, so you can charge these without having to whack them on your uh, switch all the time. I don't have that in front of me, unfortunately, right at this second. Um, and I've also got a Mega Drive from Japan, so you have to like if you got a uh, Japanese online switch account yeah you'll be able to purchase it otherwise you know you got to go through a reseller through eBay they're a little bit pricey but usually you'll be able to find one for like 110 120 Australian dollars and honestly it's to have it it's worth it they're nice and small I've got a big hand but this still feels super comfortable in, in my hand or fatty um, yeah so I can't fault that I did have um, still haven't been able to figure out these I wish I could get them working but I can't I just can't get them working they crash out every single time they're the first ones I ever bought uh, to sort of use here on Nintendo on their core on their Famicom core you know just because of how great they look and you know, and I've actually disassembled these, so that is a, uh, a real microphone, and that's a real um, resistor, slide resistor, there, a uh, real microphone there. Some people have had like arguments on on Facebook, they're saying it's not real, and I've, you know, I've pulled them apart, it's real. They're great, but for some reason, like I'll show you what happens. Reset the mister. Let's reset. That's one of these two. So, we'll just get her into pairing mode, into the Bluetooth pairing mode. Let's try and keep this focused. Okay. Okay, so, oh, oh let's go. No fatty. Okay, so now we're in pairing mode. And I'll press this. Boom. Oh, I bet it's flat. Oh no, there we go. Okay, so it finds it. Removing existing pair. Connection as done. Okay. So we go finish. Okay. No, nothing will work now. See, it crashes straight away. Nothing works. We said core won't work. Move, Eddie. Can't do anything with that. Might do anything. Ugh. Escape. Spy. Oh no, just for what that did. Went up. Oh, that hasn't happened before. I'm pretty sure nothing. Oh no, well look, we've just lost signal for some reason. It's still punching out the TV, but it's lost it there. So yeah, this has some really, real crazy crash. When it happens, it all comes good, but. Oh no, hang on, what have I done? I've bumped the SD card out. Maybe that's. Maybe that's what it was. Hang on a second, try that again then. Alright. 
I've got this extender here I bumped it out Bluetooth starts, Bluetooth started, boom. Okay, so we've got a pair. But she's crashed again for sure. Yeah, and it crashes straight away. We can't do anything. But anyway, this absolutely fantastic. This absolutely awesome, fantastic. Those are excellent, awesome. This is awesome. And the best thing is my uh, Terrasic uh, Bluetooth adapter. It can handle um, four pads connected to it simultaneously. I'm not sure how good it would perform with the four, but four can connect it sim at once. I've never been able to test it out. All, in, all playing a game together, but yeah, two works fine. But apparently, some blue Bluetooth adapters don't usually do that. Okay, thanks for listening to my ramblings. Uh, game on, retro forever.